Hello everyone. Welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly reading for Libra. How are you guys? Hope you're well. Let's see what's happening with Libra. General reading. It can be any aspect of your life. Take it how it best resonates. Libra. That energy in the cards. What does Libra need to know? I see four of cups. Libra. This one here wants to come out as well. Okay. Hmm. Something here maybe not what you want. So it looks like it today aren't you just kind of, you know, um, one last look over the shoulder, going off on a new path. Maybe you took a risk. Maybe it was rejected. Okay. Or some of you may be not interested in a situation with someone. But to be honest, I actually feel for a lot of you, because of the energy of Aries, the fool, um, it's an energy of someone who kind of lives in the moment. Some of you may be being just a little bit bored right now. <laughs> same old, same old time to live in the moment. Okay. To go down a path. Yeah. For some of you, definitely there's a lack of reciprocity. See? Something isn't good enough. Somebody gave you, and this could be a job, it could be anything. It's not good enough. It's not what you want. That's why I feel some of you are uh, looking before you leap as well here. Yeah. For most of you, I feel. Pretty strong energy. Three of those cards. Yeah. Son of Cups. That is a, a Knight of Cups. It's often an energy of someone communicating, exploring their feelings. So I feel someone here is going to reach out to you. Okay. Now, you may have a couple people reaching out. I just feel some of you are bored or it's just not what you want. Or if you took a risk and you reached out to someone and they rejected you. But sometimes this is an energy of someone who pushes through the fear. They take a leap of faith and reach out. And that's what I feel is going to happen eventually here. Okay. But yeah, this could go in a few different ways. Take which way best resonates for yourself. You know or you will know. Yeah, so it has to do with the truth, Ace of Swords. Somebody is coming in here. Well, someone exploring their feelings. It's often the calling card, the dating card. It's a communication. It has to do with truth. <laughs> success, see? If you want to have success, sometimes you have to take a little bit of a risk. Yeah, it's often energy if someone is going, aha. Okay, often it's an idea. Okay. Yeah. Some of you could be just trying to come up with new ideas. You know, you could be just bored. It could be that simple. But I do see the calling card. And we have the high priestess. Trust in your intuition, your inner knowing. Okay. This is going within, seeking answers within, seeing the truth. It's an energy of just taking a risk, pushing through fear and going down a path, reaching out. Someone's going to reach out. I feel they're hoping you'll reciprocate. Okay. I feel that somebody's afraid you won't. <laughs> Three of Cups, yeah. It's a date. Somebody wanting to date. It could be someone in your social circle. You might know who this is. You might not. Okay. Yeah, it's a dating. Looks like somebody wanting to, you know, maybe ask you out or talk or communicate. But it's generally just an emotional communication. Someone kind of exploring their feelings here. Yeah. And around you. Trust your inner knowing. I feel like you know who this is. You probably know this is somebody in your social circle. Yeah. Ace of Sa, Someone very attractive. <laughs> someone very passionate. It's also an energy of truth. Somebody here pushing through fear, reaching out. Somebody here may be wanting to get you alone. Okay. They may be wanting to get you alone. But I see someone very passionate. Okay. About what it is they want. They might find you attractive or they are. Yeah, there we have. <laughs> there it is. The offer. Yeah, it's a stable. It's reliable. Okay, very passionate. I feel this person's attractive. Okay, or they find you that way. But I do feel that somebody wants to get you alone. I do feel this person's going to start something here. So I feel it's just going to start kind of slow, just a little at a time as they explore their feelings. You're going to have a few dates with this person. So this could actually end up being a commitment, but it's about building the foundation, okay? Dating, courting, getting to know each other. Let's see, I want to see what this Four of Cups is. It, it can be a couple of cards, a couple of energies at times, especially with those three cards there. So let's just clarify. Let's see what we can pick up. All right. 
four. There we go. Yeah, so there we have it, Libra. Yeah, so it's an energy of speaking up, speaking your truth, being discerning, being wise, trusting your inner knowing. Yeah, I feel like you are. It's, it, I feel it's an energy of someone who is reaching out. I don't think you're that interested in one person here, but I do feel, see there's another person. Yeah, cutting someone out. That's not going anywhere. <laughs> Sorry about the candle, but sometimes it just... It goes out when it's meant to. So that's where I feel. This is someone here I feel like you're not interested. They're not your type. Or what they're offering you isn't what you want. Okay? Maybe they're just not your kind of person. But regardless, I feel it has to do with looking before you leap. I feel there's an energy of somebody else coming in here. I, I can see this person reaching out, hoping you reciprocate, that you feel the same. Okay? Yeah, see, there it is, Libra, a judgment and a decision, see, somebody wants a reconciliation, I'm not so sure, you may have taken a risk with this person, they rejected you, if they come back to you, I feel you'll be saying no, okay, and I think, and some of you too, I can see some of you are just bored, you're ready to go out and play, have some fun, okay, yeah, you have an offer, it looks like a couple offers, but one of them is a little more of breadcrumbs, okay, yeah, but it almost looks like a counter offer. <laughs> like I say, you, you reach out to someone, you want to start something and they reject you. Okay, so like I say, it could be a little tit for tat here. But some of you, it's just two energies coming in, two offers. One of them isn't as stable as the other. Yeah, you got, you got those, you got three aces here. <laughs> I like it. Offers opportunities, new beginnings. It's always the start of something. So it looks like some kind of invitation. This person's hoping you reciprocate. You feel the same. It's a per This person's going to push through fear. Okay, They're going to take that chance to reach out. They want it to be successful. I can see it. But it also has to do with this person seeing the truth. Okay, Some kind of truth where the light bulb goes off after they go within or it's yourself where you just know with that sword. Okay, yeah, I, I just feel someone here you're just not interested in. I feel it's a decision you're going to make and it could be someone wanting to reconcile. Yeah, it has to do with feeling safe and secure, feeling stable. Yeah. You're just letting it go, I feel. Maybe just even getting something off your chest here. But, I mean, the judgment is a decision. It's a judgment, judging someone. Maybe someone judged you wrong, okay? Or it has to do with somebody who feels like a fool because they made the wrong choice. So there could be some kind of options here as well. Oh, I see how this is forming. Let's have a look at the th three of, or the swords here, the ace of swords. Actually, you've got all four aces. What am I thinking? Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. We got someone here a little apprehensive. See, someone, it's often a person who comes in fishing for excuses or they make, fishing for answers. They want to know something. Okay. Now, it could be somebody wants to get you alone to talk to you. They're be a little shy. But, you know, what I'm feeling here with, um, for some of you, an energy of a person who makes up excuses. Okay. So it has to do with where I feel like the light bulb's going to go off. You know, okay? I feel like you know. And it could be an apology for that. That's why I feel someone here may be wanting to reconcile. I'm not so sure if you'll go for it. I mean, you might. But like I say, it's almost like you took a risk. You start tried to start something. You were rejected. Now this person's coming in. Um and I feel like you're not interested. But it, it has to do with trusting your inner knowing. See? Yeah, I think it's just the little light bulb going off where you just know. It's someone who's just making up excuses. We have the King and Queen of Pentacles. You have another opportunity. Somebody solid and reliable. Yeah, look at that. All those aces. Yeah, see? Happiness, emotional fulfillment. Someone putting them, putting themselves out there. This is someone who doesn't really like to put themselves out there. They don't want to open up or say anything in front of people. Okay? So there is energy of someone who's a bit shy. They might even just tell you. Um for some of you, okay? So, if it isn't something that's already happened, just kind of wait and see what happens here. Let's have a look at the eight of, eight of staffs, eight of wands, ace, pardon me. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Has to do with being responsible, reliable. See, somebody here wasn't reliable. See, um, you can't rely on this person, but it has to do with someone who 
uh, maybe feels responsible for something. I feel we got a person here. Like, you know, it is the birth of something new. I can see it. This is what happens. Okay. Well, the burdens get lifted. The baggage is released. Whatever this is. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's a person who makes up excuses where they work a lot, they have too much on their plate, whatever the situation, okay? But you've got this offer right here, and it's coming from this person. Now, I don't know if this is the same person. I don't think so, as I really feel like you're making a decision, okay? Some kind of judgment and decision here. And it looks like it's somebody who wants to reconcile. I mean, maybe you tried to reconcile with this person and they rejected it. Then they come in and, like I say, it feels like a little tit for tat. Um, and it has to do with the Queen of Pentacles. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is generally very gracious and kind, likes to make people feel comfortable. People are generally comfortable around this energy. But I feel something made you uncomfortable. Okay? Because it's like you got this energy of someone coming in wanting to date and then you have a person who makes up excuses. That's where I feel like the sword comes out where you see the truth. Trusting your inner knowing. It's like you already know. This is the one. <laughs> and it's probably vice versa. Yeah. I think you got a person here who just doesn't want the responsibility any kind of a relationship. Okay? No. Um, yeah, tell me about that 10. There it is. See, it has to do with a person who's financially ready, bills are paid, maybe even mortgage-free, you know, the burdens have lifted. And it could be financial responsibilities, but we have a person who I feel is very passionate about what it is they want. Okay, There's definitely a physical attraction, and I feel this person's going to put their best foot forward. Yeah, and what's happened is, is this person tried to start something here. They didn't put their best foot forward. They didn't build the foundation. This person wants to build a foundation. I feel they're stable. I feel there's someone planning, preparing ahead. There could be a, some kind of gathering with friends or family they may invite you to. So it does look like a an opportunity. I think you're going to, you know, take this opportunity. Because I feel as though, you know, and it, it is about living in the moment, okay? A little bit of living in the moment. But it has to do with pushing through fear to speak up, to speak your mind, okay? And let someone know if they're not your type. And that's where I feel this all changes. Tell me about this judgment. And it, you could have someone who now feels like a fool. They could be coming in to apologize. Because they didn't put, you know, they should have offered, it's a woulda, coulda, shoulda energy. They should have offered something more stable. Okay. It's a person who doesn't come in right. They don't put their best foot forward. They they start off with excuses. They have a story to tell you, you know. <laughs> they don't want the responsibility of a relationship. Okay? They have too much on their plate. Yeah, you know. But this could be somebody who tries to get in between you and another person. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. You got a person who wants to date you and then a person who makes up excuses. I mean, it's not too hard to tell, you know, who's the most reliable. Yeah, see, it's an energy of making a choice possibly between two. Sorry, I had to pause for a moment. I wanted to light you a candle. As I feel something new is beginning here. So, yeah, it looks like a choice. Life path decision, a crossroads, making a choice. You know, I, I feel like you're going to go for the person who's stable, that you can count on a rely on. One of these people is reliable. If they make a date, they'll stick to it. One of them is not. Okay, that I feel is what it is here. Yeah, it has to do with this person not feeling very confident. Okay, they may even tell you they're not that confident. they shy. Maybe they don't like going out in public places. Okay, some people, you know, don't like to go out a lot in public. They're kind of homebodies. So it all depends on, I feel, yourself, what it is you want. It has to do with having fun, okay, being playful, being flirty, pushing through fear and taking this opportunity. I feel that you've got a person who's just going to take a risk with you. Somebody else here, I feel, isn't very confident about it. One person's confident, one person is not yeah you know strength is you know i mean a lot of times it's an energy of someone who feels the pull they're attracted but it's also an energy of someone who kind of looks on the path the past on um 
you know, is uh, kind and compassionate, you know, and forgives. So it looks like this is someone who wants some kind of forgiveness. It looks like a, an apology. But like I say, I don't feel like you're going to go for it, but you'll have to decide for yourself. You know, this person's definitely someone who's rather secretive and they keep things to themselves. See, they keep their feelings to themselves. I don't think this is somebody who likes to be out and around a lot of people often, okay? Maybe sometimes, but I, they might keep their circle kind of small as well. But you have a person here who's definitely ready to come in. So, you know, trust your intuition. You may know who this is, your inner knowing. It's like you already know. It has to do with the one. You, you know which is the right one, the choice. But it could be a person uh, looking at you in that way too. <laughs> but I've got to tell you, as far as the breadcrumbs, don't put up with those excuses. It's somebody who reaches out once in a while when they kind of want something, but they don't really, like I feel, they keep most of their feelings to themselves. I feel they, you know, it has to do with a little bit of fear, a commitment, a you know, just it's just a lot of excuses. I feel there's they're quite secretive, you know. But this other person I feel is looking ahead, you know, there you know, there's that intuition where both of you trust in your inner knowing where you both know you're just the one. So I don't know if this has to do with them or you. Now it could be a reconciliation. Definitely some of you could have the this one of these people could be um, a reconciliation but I feel it mostly has to do with you making a decision see yeah there was a lack of clarity something wasn't clear the way someone they reached out and it wasn't clear so I feel like there's just an energy of you're not really knowing what the future holds for sure but there could be something that um, you didn't like that you were hearing or it just wasn't clear okay where you're just unsure about the future with someone because we know the queen of pentacles energy which is right underneath yourself libra um, is someone who's gracious and kind makes people feel comfortable okay but it's also about how someone approaches you that makes you feel comfortable it also has to do with taking it to the next level see time to, every time it's time to take it to the next level this person um, kind of clams up keeps their feelings to themselves Okay, and they make up excuses. So I feel it's a, it has to do with some kind of fear they have, insecurity or something. Okay, I just feel like you're going to have to make a choice. And, you know, with this energy, you know, the Queen of Pentacles is the same as the King of Pentacles in the respect that they like to plan and prepare ahead. Okay, so, and it could have to do with being too, um, somebody may come in uh, fairly quickly here. But they're secretive. They don't really tell you everything. This is someone who could be fishing for information as well. See, wanting to know if you've started something. But I would, uh, quite honestly, I feel it has to do with, most of this has to do with um, not seeing a future with someone, okay? And making a choice, a life path choice. This is a life path decision. It feels like a big deal. It's a big decision, okay? So don't be afraid to ask for truth if you're not sure. If there's something you want to know, ask, okay? Asking you will receive. Yeah. It's generally one to know what someone's intentions are. <laughs> but yeah. I, I just feel there's, you know, I, I, I feel what it is is telling you to look at it so you don't miss an opportunity. Okay. But I feel this person who wa I feel wants a reconciliation. Okay. You may have wanted a reconciliation with someone at one point, but it, I feel like it didn't go well. They made up excuses, told you a story, or they didn't take responsibility or behave in a responsible manner. That's what I feel has kind of happened here. So there's the opportunity. See, we, you and another person are going to drink from each other's cup. You're going to talk back and forth and see eye to eye. There's someone here you don't. Okay. Yeah. And it, like I say, they may feel like a fool. But it's in the center, so I feel like it affects this other person where they're taking the leap of faith. But if you ask this person what it is they want, they'll tell you the truth, okay? Somebody here won't. They'll fish for information, make up excuses. You're going to see the truth. And the truth is, this is someone more stable. So don't be afraid to tell someone. I mean, sometimes it's an energy where a person doesn't want to reject somebody, um, that they feel they're not their type or they're not interested, whatever the issue, and they make up excuses, okay? So now there is that energy of someone who's done that because they don't want to hurt someone's feelings, okay? So they kind of become very secretive. They don't have a whole lot to say. So 
okay you might just see that okay that maybe it's the other way around yeah it just is what it is sometimes you know sometimes people are just not each other's type but i feel like you've got someone here who is your type <laughs> yeah this definitely is a relationship energy soulmate best friend see friends first it's a person who comes in right see there it is somebody it has to do with respect somebody knowing your worth and value treating you with respect this person i feel kind of has it's not a lack of respect and i don't feel it's intentional but like i feel if there's someone here who um who cut you out or 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 rejected you when you made a communication you know, where you where you started something and you pushed through the fear and took the leap of faith okay i feel like it's this person makes up the excuses like you know like i say they they're maybe just not interested okay but it really looks like it's you and i do see a little of it leaning towards this person about yourself though where they just make up excuses but whatever it is i feel it's an energy of just releasing it it no longer serves letting it go okay yeah someone here sees you know your worth you know your value okay they could have a little aquarius in their chart they don't have to but you know it, it has to do with you know, somebody who knows their own worth and value they love themselves first so you know it has to do with self-respect and uh, when someone respects themselves they generally respect others and that's what i feel this person is they're more stable in those in those areas but they are planning something so and it does look like it'll be emotionally fulfilling a pretty good time it could be a wedding a party a gathering okay or they're going to invite you there's the pentacle some kind of invitation you're going to look at it and you're going to trust your intuition i feel like you're going to go for it here yeah there's this person see they have some aquarius in their chart yeah they're they're wise i mean it, you've got a you've got a choice here i mean it could if you if it is the aquarius person who's uh, making up excuses hiding things being secretive okay um you could be releasing them okay or either or but i'm seeing a power couple the king and queen of pentacles two people who like to be prepared two people who are stable grounded okay kind of being more practical and sensible not that other signs aren't, but they are definitely the most practical signs. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a look at this house and home. Yeah. This person's definitely, there's definitely an attraction. Yeah. So it's an energy of this person is um, waiting for the right opportunity, but I feel there's an energy of patience paying off. Okay. So don't rush, don't rush to, to reply. Think about this offer an opportunity make sure everything's the way you want it okay before you invest but i feel it has to do with uh, this an, an investment see the timing something paying off here it's worth it's an energy where it feels like it's kind of worth waiting for here waiting for the right person so if somebody comes in they're not your type in other words don't just you know leap into a situation when when your actual soulmate is coming in i feel like you'll know who they are i feel they're in your social circle yeah see trusting your inner knowing you're compatible you have things in common okay yeah so just trust your inner knowing that's what i feel pushing through fear if it feels right you feel comfortable you go for it if it if it if you don't feel comfortable you won't so you're making a choice it's a yeah i feel it's a big deal um this choice here okay between these two people yeah see somebody here you don't trust see because they make up stories they make up excuses and i also see a little bit of mind games and manipulation but more often than not it's missed communication it's a lack of communication skills somebody doesn't have the best communication skills here and somebody does but I, I feel it has to do with overcoming it. Now, this is often an energy of someone who's a little frustrated or, you know, it, it's trust issues. And yes, it's mind games. It's often a form of manipulation. But I, I feel it's more like something to do with the way you communicate. Mixed messages, 
okay? Somebody who sends out mixed messages or you're missing a communication from someone and an opportunity. I mean, maybe it's a decision and you're afraid to trust your own decision here because you don't. it's like you don't want to miss an opportunity, but you have this other offer. So like I say, this could be happening, you know, all at once here where you have a couple people reaching out and you have to choose. But it's like you don't want to miss this other opportunity. Yeah. I, you know, I, I just feel there it is, the birth of something new. See, letting somebody know you're open. This is an energy of healing, being ready, letting someone know you're open and available, but holding yourself in high regard. See, somebody sees you being gracious, kind, the way you conduct yourself, maybe publicly. Okay. Yeah, this is someone feeling pretty happy here, I'll tell you. <laughs> could be a communication, too. Like, I, it could be someone just being a little flirty with the fool. Taking this, the, the fool's kind of flirty and playful, youthful. Okay, Someone who likes to have fun. Someone who likes to kind of live in the moment. But, like I say, living in the moment sometimes here. It's a looking. I, I feel the message is looking before you leap. If it doesn't feel right, thanks, but no thanks. Okay? Yeah. I, I, I see this beautiful energy. Someone's about to come in and shower abundance upon you, though, you see. And I feel like you're going to receive it. Something is coming towards you. It's this energy here. I, I like this because I feel this person's put a lot of thought into this. I feel they're very confident. They are confident where the other person isn't confident about their feelings. And I feel like that's what you want is someone who, you know, feels sure of themselves. You know, they value themselves. They know their worth. Okay. So, which is kind of feels like a healthy ego to me. But there's the cycle. See, there's a cycle ending and a, a new cycle beginning. So this is someone who wants things to go in their favor. You see, they're confident that it will. <laughs> or it's yourself. And it could be you too with that queen of swords. Okay. Having to make a decision, you're confident. But I feel like you're open, okay? I see you being very balanced, being very gracious, very kind. I mean, I feel like some of you are open to a reconciliation with a particular person. But maybe it, it has to do with the excuses, okay? The apology, whether they take responsibility for what happened here. Because it looks like there's been this a little bit of tearing down. Um, not that, see, it's two people who are meant for each other that cooperate and compromise they build each other up okay people who aren't confident have a tendency to um, talk behind people's back or kind of push people down make them feel like they're not good enough because they feel bigger that's what i feel that you're kind of dealing with here okay yeah so, i mean maybe somebody judged you unfairly here but I, I feel for the most part, there's just a lack of clarity with this person. It's just not good enough the way they communicate. They drop hints. It's, it's you know, it leaves you not sure what to even think. So, yeah. It looks like you've got two offers coming in kind of around the same time or two invitations, uh, communications. But I, I feel this is an energy where things are about to flip in your favor. Uh, beautiful, beautiful energy for you. Somebody here is being left behind, though. They're just sitting here, right in the middle. It has to do with this person. It has to do with you know, their lack of confidence. See, the truth. I feel it's you with the sword seeing the truth. They're not confident. You know, so they're secretive. They hide things. Okay, They don't know their worth and value. They don't love themselves first. So I feel they probably have some baggage. They need things they need to heal and deal with. It's just a secretive, kind of closed-off person. Yeah. Fear of commitment, fear of saying too much, fear of saying the wrong thing. You see, it's all these things. So it's a person who's not ready. And somebody else here is, you know, manifesting. You're going to mirror somebody else here, two people manifesting each other. Some of you have Gemini, you have Aquarius energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, can't, little cancer energy, little Pisces. Yeah, I feel like you're, you're, you are know, you and another person are going to communicate. This is about the communication, going down this path. There's going to be a need to compromise a little, okay? I do feel somebody here does work a lot, but I do feel this is someone who is going to put in some effort here. I see you, ha you having a few dates with someone. 
I do feel like you know them. They're in your social circle or somewhere in your community. So, yeah, there it is. Multiple opportunities, things speeding up. <laughs> you're going to make a decision, yeah. So you're going to have a few dates with someone. It won't take, if you have a date with this person, the first date, the second date will come in fairly quick. So it does look like there's three. It does look like you're going to get multiple opportunities. You know, a couple people that you're talking to, communication here. So, yeah, I, I, I feel like this is very positive for you. I feel you're going to just do the right thing. So I feel it's saying just to sit down and look at the details and just be sensible, okay, and practical. Just so it, It's an energy of just being able to be yourself with someone. That's what I feel, just being able to be you, okay? I feel like you have a lot of abundance. You have a lot to share. I feel like you bring a lot to the table. And I feel that this King of Pentacles brings a lot to the table as well. And that's what this manifesting is all about. You see, manifesting someone who has everything that you want and you have everything they want. <laughs> and it goes in both people's favor. But not so much for this person in the middle. No. See, while you're waiting. <laughs> you see, while you're waiting, you've got another person. This is where things shift is when you start looking elsewhere. See, the Empress often keeps their options open when somebody isn't confident or they don't communicate clearly. If the person doesn't offer you a commitment or commit to at least go down this path to date each other for a while, leave everyone else out of it, you're technically single, okay? And that's what I feel this is about. While you're waiting, another person's coming in, but I feel like it's too little too late for this other person if they come back. Yeah, see, it's an energy of someone coming back around. I feel like you've moved on. Yeah, I feel like you've just moved on. And I do feel some beautiful change coming in. Okay, lovely energy. This is, I feel there's someone here who's kind of, you know, looking at you. I feel like you've already drank from each other's cup. I feel like you've already had a date. But then maybe you have a date and this other person's coming in between you or trying to. Because it's like you have a date with one, then this person comes, and then this person comes in. There's the multiple opportunities. Someone in a hurry, things speeding up. Whoever this is, they want this to go in their favor. They're analyzing, strategizing, and they're going to speed things up a little bit here. <laughs> date one, date two. Yeah. So, yeah. So this other person's being left behind left out in the cold well they i feel they just come in with lack they have nothing to give they um, they they're negative they're secretive they hide things their feelings they just lack they just they don't have they lack confidence that's what i feel this is about so it's about you seeing it recognize it and going aha where you realize okay so when someone makes up excuses you start to realize they're really just not that confident about you and often the excuses are they don't have any money or they're this, they're that, or they, you know, they don't want to tell you they don't, you see. But I feel for the most part, a lot of people just make up excuses because they really are hoping you stop talking and reaching out to them. <laughs> so do keep your options open because I feel this while you're waiting, this is what's happening, okay. Somebody coming in here that's stable, sensible. You know, you've got love coming in. See, this is a choice, ending ending a cycle with someone. It, this could have been someone maybe you had something on and off with. Maybe you finally found the strength to finally tell this person no. But there it is, choosing the one. So you've got a choice here. And if it's not you that has a choice and you know who this is and they have a choice, you're definitely not going to be anybody's... Uh, you're not going to, you know, sit around and wait for somebody who ghosts you, ignores you, okay? Leaves you out in the cold. Because it could be too where, like I say, you're just getting bored of someone who behaves that way. But you still have this person coming. Yeah, you've got a person who knows exactly what they want. <laughs> so, yeah, I see you being cautious, playing it safe. Only giving this person a little bit until you're sure what their intentions are. But I feel that they'll. this is someone who will... You know, they're definitely going to put the effort in. And I do feel that we have someone here who's mastering the elements of the kings here as well. See, we got two people. You've already, I feel, mastered the energies of the empress. Now we have someone mastering the energies of the king. Now this is the energy of going after what they want, manifesting by being focused, driven, and not giving up. You're going to get what you want. Okay? Yeah. 
You're about to get some. They're going to indulge you. They're, you're going to see this person again, but eventually they're going to want some kind of reciprocity. So um, I also would watch out for any of you, if someone comes in, if there's, they make up excuses or they tell you a story, make sure there's no strings attached, okay? Just watch out for those, those strings. But I feel like you're going to date this person, this other person's going to come in, then this other person's going to date you, and they're going to speed up, they're going to be in a hurry, they're not going to be wasting any time. See, this is someone who knows. There's definitely a, a, a physical attraction. They're very attracted. <laughs> yeah, they're, they've got that wand energy. It's all, it's just a person becoming that emperor. They're mastering uh, the elements. So I, I don't feel like they're super, super emotional. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I'm not seeing the King of Cups here. Okay, because I do feel it's someone who has a tendency to kind of keep their feelings to themselves, but they're very determined about the things you have in common. They're willing to cooperate and compromise. See, they have all the tools, the information. I feel they have skills. They bring a lot to the table. Okay, they have a lot of skills. Like this person, they could be just very, very handy, but they're. I feel they're creative. They're determined. Okay, yeah. Yeah, there it, there it is. There you go. Filling the cup. See, this person, somebody, one last cup to fill, and they have everything they want, and that's you, the one. This person has everything, I feel, like, you know, the with the magician. But I feel like you do, too. You're everything this person could want, and I actually feel they're pretty much everything you could want. You might have to be patient for a bit while this person, because they are, you know, the King of Cups. I knew this was going to come because the King of Cups plays it a little safe. They don't always tell someone how they feel, even if they're feeling the love. They kind of keep it to themselves for a while, but it has to do with a little of that macho energy. They're mastering it. They have the tools. They have the information. They know what they need to do. So they're wise. They're just going to go on their gut too, I feel. If it feels right, they're just going to go for it kind of energy. Yeah. See, they're stable. They want this is someone wanting to partner up. So now this could be a place where you go and socialize when you're with friends. Like I say, it could be someone who's waiting to get you alone to talk to you. Okay, away from people. If you have people around you all the time, um, it could be someone waiting for a sign, a signal, okay, to approach. <laughs> so don't act aloof with the Queen of Pentacles, but we know the King of Pentacles Pentacles can act that way too. See? being a little cautious, being a little bit aloof. They've also mastered, this is someone who's also mastered the skills in dating, okay, relationships. They know what they need to do, okay. So pretty interesting. It's more than likely a lot of you. They're in your, you're going to be someplace. They want to get you alone, but that physical attraction, see, the two wands. Yeah, I, I like this energy. Where was that other wand? Yeah, here, see, one wand, two wands, a choice. Yeah, there's an energy of three, but someone's being left behind, but I also see three dates, okay? I see at least three dates before this person brings you out to their friends, their family, okay? I do feel they're willing to compromise, but what they're looking for is the compatibility, the things you have in common, okay? Friends and family, um, you know, just all the things I feel like in your lives is this person's fairly articulate, um, pretty smart. Yeah, they're definitely trying to control their emotions. See, they're, they've mastered. So this person's actually mastered their emotions. They're in control. They don't, they're not ruled by them. Okay, yes, they're emotional, but this is somebody who, who's a little more cautious. They'd likely learn to the hard way like most people. <laughs> yeah. So very nice. So they want this, and this person will pick you up. They'll take you home, okay? I feel they're, you know, this is someone who's probably, I feel pretty generous, like they're going to take you out somewhere, kind of not really spare a whole lot of expense here. I, I mean, I don't think they're going to be like a huge spender, but I, you know, if you're looking for someone to spoil you rotten, um, it's definitely somebody who'll do that. They'll, you know, they're definitely a gift giver. They... You know, all these things, they can be very generous, but I actually feel they're going to start a little bit slow. They're going to be a little cautious. Yeah, but they will, I, you know, they will, they are someone who will spoil, you know, but I feel they want a little of that too. I have to be honest. I feel this person wants, 
uh, some of that because I actually feel there's someone who's given and given and given and they've never really got got what they wanted they never really got their cup filled that last cup the emotional fulfillment you see so this is why I feel like you've got a person who's going to be a little careful so give this person a little chance to express themselves be a little patient okay watch your words <laughs> yeah I, I think this person this energy right here is fine because it is this person mastering their feelings and if it is them and they ghosted you ignored you or they came in with lack and they now feel more confident maybe because they got their act together or they've done some inner work who knows you could be open the empress is often forgiving and can be open uh, it all depends what happens for some of you but i feel this for most of you this person's being left behind because they just have too many insecurities or they come in with lack or they act like they don't have any money when they do you know all these things that you never really know for sure because it's a, a lack of clear communication so take care i wish you guys the very best i see having a few dates with this person and it actually could go somewhere okay take care bye for now